I'm back! The crazy brine shrimp lady is back! Hello and welcome to Tea in the Deep Blue Sea with me, Victoria, aka the Crazy Brine Shrimp Lady. Yes, I am the Crazy Brine Shrimp Lady. So today's video, I am going to be comparing the three tanks I have recently set up for day two. So it is day two, which means it is aeration and adding eggs, and for the Aqua Dragons, it is feeding day. So it's a really exciting day that I've got going on here. So this is part of a playlist which is comparing the three tanks so it's only day two at the moment so it's very very new and i'm going to be comparing them as i go along and adding further videos to this playlist so if you hit that bell for notifications you will be kept up to date with what is going on so i'm going to compare the three tanks see what's going on see what's happening with them all and it should be really exciting i hope you enjoy the video and i have mr squiggly the octopus here he says hello and i hope you enjoy the video Cheers. So it is day two for my Artemia tank comparison. So we've got the Sea Monkey Ghostly Galleon, the Coral Sea Dragons tank and the Aqua Dragons tank. So I'm really excited to see how these tanks are getting on and um, really what the difference is between them all as they start to grow and if one does better than the other. So the Sea Monkey tank, the Ghostly Galleon, that is Sea Monkeys, which are Artemia MYOS, and the other two are Artemia Selena, which are Brine Shrimp. So I'm wondering if there is going to be a difference between how well the different species do. So for day two, for the Sea Monkeys, according to the instructions, we add the full packet of Instant Live Eggs. For the Coral Sea Dragons, we add half of the Instant Live Dragon Eggs. And for day two, for the Aqua Dragons we add some food. I'm also going to aerate all of the tanks. I'm trying to keep the conditions as similar as possible between the tanks whilst also following the instructions so I can do a good comparison of the three tanks. All three tanks are super pretty. I love the actual tanks themselves. They're all very, very nice, very, very pretty. And I love all of this little design on here. Plus the ship glows in the dark. And of course the Coral Sea Dragons. It is pink. It's a really nice pastel pink colour as well. So without further mumbling on from me, I'm sure you're bored of it already, I'm going to get on with the tank. So first of all, I am going to aerate them. So this is the aeration tool that came with the Ghostly Galleon, which is a million bubble pump, which is like a fancy pipette and it's got like a little bubbling tool on the end. So rather than one one bubble at a time you get multiple bubbles come out. So I'm going to go ahead and aerate that now. So let's just take off the lid. I'll pop that down. You can see there are multiple bubbles coming out the bottom there. There we go, so I'm going to go ahead and pop the lid over there out of the way so you can clearly see the tank. And we are going to add the instant live eggs. It's so exciting! There we go. You can see the dye in there. You can see there's some extra salts in there as well. And we're going to go ahead and use the bubbler tool just to give that a little bit of a stir. You can see that's changed the colour to a little bit of a greenish hue, which is the dye that is in packet number two. Give that a stir and pop the lid back on. So now onto the coral sea dragon. So I'm going to aerate the tank. 
move those out of the way. So we take the lid off. I'm just going to stir that round to aerate the tank. have our instant live dragon eggs so i'm gonna go ahead go ahead go ahead and add half of these and if you can see what's in there but you can see there's some salt in the little brown specks are eggs so we're gonna add around half of the packet as per the instructions and I'm going to go ahead and stir in so all of those get wet, like so. And you can see the eggs stuck there. Just going to make sure they stay in the water. So now on to our Aqua Dragons tank. So I'm going to go ahead and take off the lid and use the pipette that came with it just to gently bubble into the tank. going to give that another bit of a stir to help aerate the water and we're going to go ahead and open the food da, 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 da. so we use the little spoon here you can see inside the packet there We're going to add one spoonful of food. Just give that a little stir into the water. For the aqua dragons, you feed them every other day, and it's every five to seven days for the sea monkeys and coral sea dragons. So now we wait until we can see some of our hatchlings. It's so exciting! So that was day two of my comparison series. I hope you have enjoyed the video. If you've got any other tanks you would like me to review, let me know down in the comments below. Before I go, let me hit you with today's ocean fact. Da -da -da -da. Yes. So today's ocean fact is parrotfish actually eat bits of rock and they grind it up with their parrot-like beaks and they excrete it as sand. So a lot of the beautiful white sand you see is actually parrotfish poop. I know, it's brilliant. I just love nature. I hope you have learned something new this video and enjoyed my ocean fact. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Cheers.